Well, hello everyone, my name's Sean Carter. I'm the SIC Australia New Zealand product manager for identification and measurement devices. And when we talk about identification devices, we're talking about code readers mainly, uh, barcode, uh, single uh, 1D barcodes, uh, 2D barcodes, uh, data matrix codes, uh, and we're also talking about RFID products, uh, UHF and HF. Now if we move around this little stand here, you can see that we have a, a selection of some of our key uh, code reading products. We have uh, a handheld scanner, industrial, which is uh, suitable for scanning 1D codes and is Bluetooth equipped, so we don't need a, a line to connect it to our, uh, our PLCs. We have uh, a CLV barcode scanner with autofocus, which scans uh, at uh, variable distances. Uh, we have another device here, a CLV device with autofocus, which actually scans as devices are moving towards it. We have a fixed distance barcode reader. And if we move around the other side, we also have a device here, which actually does optical character recognition. So it actually recognizes individual characters and outputs that data as a string by Ethernet IP or serial. Uh, we also have a number of sensors here which actually trigger these devices, uh, but this un particular unit here is actually also running in what we call auto cycle. So it will uh, scan independently. When it reads a barcode and it produces a good read, it will stop and then we'll wait a specified amount of time and then start scanning again. So it's constantly scanning, constantly reading. Here in my hand we have our uh, Bluetooth capable uh, 1D handheld scanner. It's a very robust unit. It can be dropped from heights of one and a half meters and will still work quite happily. It can be done repeated times, so it's a very robust unit. This particular unit is also available with Wi-Fi. And uh, just very, very uh, soon to be released will be uh, 2D versions of these uh, handheld barcode readers. Um, we also have uh, very basic uh, 1D readers, which are suitable for point-of-sale systems. And the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi versions, of course, come with a cradle with a battery charger. Now this particular unit, uh, the CLV650 with autofocus, it's actually tracking this barcode here. And you'll see at the moment that the laser line is not hitting the barcode, but as the device moves closer, it will come into range, it will read the code and stop. If I move it back out of range and trigger the unit again, it will continue reading until it sees the barcode and stops. And this is typical of the action of this particular device. Uh, it can, of course, be set in an auto cycle, but uh, at the moment we're triggering it by hand just to get it to read. These devices here, they're actually set up on an auto cycle uh, with an auto cycle functionality, which basically means that at the moment they're not seeing a barcode, they're actually triggering, but there's no content being read. But as soon as I move this into position, we suddenly find it'll actually start reading the barcode and we'll output that data to a PLC over either Ethernet IP or as a serial data stream. Here we have the Lecter OCR device which is a, a 2D code reader but also with optical character recognition algorithms built into the device and if I move this pack uh, or this, this box through the field of view, we're actually going to be checking for the presence of this date code here. And if I move it into range, you'll see it actually lights up and illuminates the target. It has processed this image, sent it to a laptop or to a PLC. If the letters are correct and present, uh, it can be checked and all the characters can be recognized and verified.